It's fall, y'all. We are starting to decorate for Halloween. So we just got back from Florida and 90 degree weather in Disney World and I could not wait after our quarantine to get to Trader Joe's, check out their fall snacks and start cooking fall things and making apple cider. And I'm gonna share with you some things I made and my mom's pumpkin bread, which is so yummy. And Landon helped me cook some things as well. She loves pumpkin, she loves fall. So let's get into it. I'm excited to share with you some fall things that we're cooking. It's tasty too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you grow your own food, it's more, are you gonna go eat that or? So it's 60 degrees, it's 11 o'clock and I am making a vegetable soup. I like to make these a lot, usually with potatoes, onions, any veggies I have. This is from our garden, the kale, and then white beans. I thought I had frozen white beans, like homemade beans from the Instant Pot, but I just have these Zoe's Kitchen copycat beans I make a lot, which is just white bean and rosemary. So I'm gonna throw that in there. And then tomato, I, might, I have another can, so I might throw that. So just a very simple, not too complicated um, veggie soup. And I think fall is my favorite time of the year. Look at these trees, Landon. This reminds me a lot of my mom I was listening to Michael Buble and making soup in the fall, which was probably one of her favorite things to do. So I'm gonna saute in the Instant Pot um, with the onions. Did you catch a leaf? I did. I, I did catch a leaf. Awesome. So the sauteed onions look good, so I'm gonna turn it off. And then I'm gonna add salt, pepper, oregano, and garlic for about a minute. And I'm gonna throw the rest in and then get this Instant Pot rocking and rolling. What do you think? Mm, it smells good. It does smell good. It's a very strong flavor, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I'll have a smell of cinnamon. Okay, I'll get the cinnamon. You can smell it. Do you like the smell of garlic or cinnamon better? Cinnamon better. Me too. It's ready to go in. I forgot. Mommy, I mommy, forgot about mommy, vegetable mommy, broth. Mommy, 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 mommy. <laughs> okay. I don't know where this came from, but Landon asked me to play Watermelon Meow Meow, and I was like, that's not a song. And yes, there is a song called Watermelon Meow Meow. Daddy must have played it, because I've never heard of it. All right, Landon, we're gonna do pressure cook, soup, for, let's just go 12 minutes. And then we're gonna have soup. How about that? Right. Just afternoon, and soup is all done. And I took a little sip and it is really delicious. So I'm just gonna sprinkle it with some Parmesan cheese. So I have these that I have cooling. So this is gonna go in the fridge for quick meals, lunches, whatever, easy. And then freeze these and I'll pull these out maybe in like two or three weeks to have a, like a couple lunches for that as leftovers. Landon skipped a nap today, didn't you Landon? Yeah, so we're going to bed early. So Daddy and Mommy are gonna have nachos for dinner. And I love these. I haven't had these in so long, so I'm so excited. And I had pinto beans in the freezer. Um, so I kind of made some refried beans for the nachos. I just did pinto, salt, pepper, garlic, a ton of cumin and hot sauce, and a little bit of water. So that's gonna go on mine and then my husband may want some beans, but I cut up some leftover grilled chicken for his. These delicious babies are about to go in the oven. Beans on the side, chicken on the side, just cheese. And then we're gonna throw on, when it comes out of the oven, a bunch of lettuce, salsa, sour cream, and maybe guac. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for these bad boys. Babies asleep. Trader Joe's had some autumn like frozen dishes. So this is one of them, so I thought I would try this tonight, and it takes a while to cook, like an hour. I always prefer like cooking over microwave, just feel like it tastes better. So I'm probably gonna get this preheated in the oven soon since it's four o'clock, and then tomorrow is Saturday, and we have family coming over, so I got this for um, dessert. And I'll show you tomorrow the other sort of like, I'm trying to do like a little fall thing for them too. We're gonna have lunch cook lunch for them and then also some whipped cream and 
Huge fan of pumpkin cheesecake. I don't think I've ever had Trader Joe's. Probably because the whole thing is how many calories? <laughs> so this is a 2,500 calorie situation right here. But I'm gonna put this in the fridge, um, it says overnight, and it'll be ready tomorrow. So it was around 10 o'clock and our family arrives probably 12.30, so around 11, I'm gonna get this bad boy going. We have delicious apple cider, some mulling spices, and big cinnamon sticks, and Captain Morgan, of course, as an option. And bonus, it makes the house smell so amazing. And let me show you Phil's rib. He has the smoker going. Is it hot? No. He's got three rack of, racks of ribs on the Traeger. He's in there watching Mira Royal Detective, which she's been obsessed with lately because she opened up the door and just banged her head so hard. It's gonna be a bad bruise. This is lettuce from our local farmer's market. And I'm gonna chop up apples, very small for Landon. Um, usually I do like a caramelized onion cheddar cheese with it from Trader Joe's. It crumbles, it's delicious. But they just had this, which is new. It's the unexpected cheddar shredded cheese. So I thought it'd be fun to try something different. Real French vinaigrette from Brianna's I like in this salad. And then you could make a homemade like apple cider vinegar, but I'm just trying to make it easy. Usually I throw like walnuts or something, but I'm not gonna do that with a landing because she likes salad. The spaghetti squash from Trader Joe's, I give that a pass. Um, it was a ton of leeks in there. It just, it wasn't a lot of spaghetti squash. I don't think I get it again. I decide not to do red onions because I feel like, I don't know if other people like it. Would be really good, I think, with some raisins in here. But I'm gonna keep it simple. This, just cheddar, apple, and this vinaigrette salad. That cheese, I just had some. It's bomb. We are making, do you want some pumpkin chili, Landon? So it says to make it with ground beef. I'm gonna make it vegetarian, then add ground beef to half. Those you want these sunglasses? What are those rainbow ones? You want, oh, the purple rainbow sunglasses? Mm -hmm. It's not very sunny out. It is a 60 degree rainy Sunday evening. Perfect for chili. You are a star, baby. I got these on sale like last spring. And I did one, it was like red beans and rice or something, and it was really, really good. So hopefully um, this is just as good. It's really easy. And I've been obsessing since like all weekend. Like I'm sneaking in the vow whenever I can. I'm on episode four on HBO. It's such a good show. Uh, I guess series about a cult. It's very soupy without the ground beef, Daddy. I think I'll throw beans in there. I have some pinto beans I cooked. I'm gonna throw those in. <gasps> wow, we're gonna have a spooky dinner in here. Does that look spooky? So spooky. <gasps> so spooky. This daddy did an awesome job on this mantle. Oktoberfest, hot sauce, some cheese and sour cream. It's really good. Phil decided he's gonna eat ribs, so I didn't put ground beef, but I had to add beans to it. It's got a very like Indian flavor, actually. I don't know what it is. It's time for dinner, baby. So this is a yummy, yummy fine from Trader Joe's. I think they're new, I've never seen them before. But I like their regular samosas that they have frozen. And um, these have the perfect amount of spice to them. These were really good. I had these for lunch. Um, so yeah, highly recommend that. So I made Harvest Spaghetti Squash Spirals. It's pretty good. It's a little bland. There was some cheese to add to it. So I'm going to add a little more Parmesan on top. So for dinner with um, a side salad and then some grilled chicken for my husband, I'm going to make these. And I've had these before and they're pretty good. I don't have a lot of options for like fall herbs. I wish I had some time, but I don't. So I'm just gonna do butter, garlic, salt, pepper, and then some Parmesan cheese. I mean, can't go wrong with butter and Parmesan cheese. 
Landon's about to wake up from her nap, so she's been asking for cookies, and I got these from Trader Joe's, so we're gonna make these after she has her snack. Um, hopefully, she's been like super cranky today. Well, she had a good day. She started stuttering recently, and when she gets stressed and tired, it gets worse, and then she gets upset about it. So we've been dealing with that this week. It's been slow, like over the past three weeks. It's been hard because she's been very advanced verbally. But I wanted to share with you what I'm going to make for a snack for her. Um, saute in coconut oil, some thinly sliced apples, which she loves. Oh, and then just woke up. <laughs> She woke up upset from her nap yesterday. So much, she's just out of sorts. So I'm gonna do pumpkin waffle with um, yogurt, vanilla, cinnamon, with sauteed apples over it. So hopefully she's in a better mood. Who's on your shirt? You must be. And we both have shirts on that say to you. Boo. And then this is one of the best smells in the world, isn't it? Cinnamon and apple. We have pumpkin waffle with yogurt, vanilla, cinnamon, and these bad boys look about ready. And we're gonna put these on top. Are you excited? I am excited again. Oh, look at these, Landis. Oh my. I don't know what's more delicious. More delicious. I think that's all we need. This is your Meemaw's recipe. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Whoa, it's so heavy. It is. Whoa. Whoa. It won't rock the noise. I don't know. Did you drop the baking pan? So we mix the oil and sugar, then three eggs. Look. Two. Three. Three. Three eggs. So you crack the eggshell, stick your thumb in, and you pull it apart and drop it in. And then this goes in, the eggshell goes in the trash. I need to see the eggshell. Okay. The eggshell of three eggs. Mm -hmm. I like this. You like the eggshell? I like it. Mm. Look, it's the same color as our stools, isn't it? Like a brown. I will put a screenshot of Meemaw's pumpkin recipe with all of its typos. I don't think she ever had it written down. Oh, it smells good. Okay, this is pumpkin, Linda. Have you ever seen a can opener? We don't, oh, and then you don't lick it, baby. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay, I can smell one more time. Can I smell this? That's a, that was pumpkin pie spice. This is cinnamon. Look, we don't have Zans to open our cans. We have to use a can opener. Can you sprinkle just a little bit of cinnamon in here? Okay. Good job, Landon. All right. Think that's good? No, but sugar. Okay, I think that's good. And the cinnamon. Yeah, a little bit of cinnamon. Okay, so hold, hold the bowl with this hand. Hold the bowl here. And then can you mix it up? Sprinkle. I'm sprinkling it. You are. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, use your whisk and mix it up. Sprinkle, sprinkle. It's a good thing it's only going to be for family. Alright, baby. Good job. Can mommy help you? Can you do it? Alright. Oh. Careful, try to keep it in here, okay? I'm gonna keep it in the bowl. Too small. Here, let me show you, ready? 
See that? Okay, all done. It's nice and mixed. Now, we need to put this into the mixer. Mix it in the mixer and pretend it's beef. Here. Look at that. That's the eggs and the oil. Keep your fingers out of it, okay? And then mix it. And then in an hour, we're gonna have pumpkin bread. Can you take the whisk and scrape it down? Like that, see that? From mother to daughter, don't fill the loaf pan all the way up to the tippy top before you bake it. <laughs> Always remember that. Like, oh no, what happened, mommy? I'm not a baker, clearly. Uh, but and but and uh, I didn't marry but, her for a cooking, lady. But the pumpkin's so messy. The pumpkin bread is so messy, but still gonna be good, I bet. It's just gonna take mommy a while to clean this new oven. So this part fell off and I caught it. It was delicious, but oh my gosh, do I have an oven to clean? It is shaped like a C. Clop, clop. That breaks it up. Okay, put your other hand here and hold the bowl. There you go. And mix. All right. You finish? Use both hands. Use both hands, honey. It looks like mommy's doing. Both hands. You hold it? And then pour it in here. There you go. Dump it all out. Good job. Put it on there. Oh, yeah. Can you go like this? Oh, uh, a ball. Roll a ball. A ball. It's like Play Doh. Oh, yeah. Can you roll it? Okay. You can't eat them though until they're cooked. Yeah, smush it into a ball. It's a good ball. One, two, three, four, five. Good, good job, buddy. All right, let's put them in the oven. Make the bunny boom boom. I don't want to see you. Can you put this on the cookie sheet? And we'll do some more cookies. This is a cooling rack. Alright. And then those clay crackers. So I snuck a little taste and I don't want to hurt our feelings. It's good, but I'm not a ginger fan. It's a little too much ginger for me, but other than that, it's really good. It's good, but it's too much ginger. Papa made a lot of cookies. Oh, you're over the praying mantis? Alright. I'm a little worried they're hot though. Let me blow on it. Let me know what you think. What do you think? Mm-hmm, I think. It's good? Mm-hmm. Let's get the full mint. Mm-hmm, I'm good. So let me know if you guys tried any of these Trader Joe's treats. Did you love them, hate them? Try out my mom's recipe. 
put it in a bigger loaf pan because it is so delicious. And thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.